guys, it's Romina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 197 on SOA exam P. So we'll pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I assume you're already done with it. Let's just dive right in. So basically, the question is asking, calculate the probability the machine had its malfunction on the first day. So this is called A. Given the machine has not had three malfunctions in the first three days. Okay, so then again, as always, this uses our conditional probability formula, probability of A and B divided by probability of B. So the probability of B, let's just start with denominator because I think it's a little bit easier. So they're saying, what is the probability the machine has not had three malfunctions in the first three days? So if it has a probability of malfunction with 0.4, if it didn't have three malfunctions, or if it did have three malfunctions, it's going to be 4, 0.4 raised to the cubed power, right? 0.4 on the first day, 0.4 on the second day, and 0.4 on the third day. But if it's not had three malfunctions on the first day, it would just be one minus this number right here. So this is a denominator. And what's the numerator? What is the probability the machine had its third malfunction on the fifth day? And it has not had three malfunctions in the first three days. But the thing is, basically, that's kind of like redundant though, because they're saying, what is the probability that on the first three day, it has not had three malfunctions. So it's saying it had zero, maybe had zero malfunctions, maybe had zero, one malfunction, maybe had two malfunctions, right? And then it, this part saying, and calculate probably the machine had its third third malfunction on the fifth day. So on the fourth and fifth day, it had maybe like three malfunction somewhere in here, or like it could have had two malfunction here. So basically, this is just like the redundant for us to say it twice because it just means the same thing or it is basically the definition of negative binomial distribution which is what we're going to be using and i'm not sure if you guys remember this but the negative binomial distribution the thing goes like this where the probability the rth of the rth success occurs on uh, x trial is probability of x is equal to little x x minus one r minus one probability raised to the rth power and 1 minus p raised to the x minus r power so in our case our success r will be 3 3 is our success malfunction is our success which kind of sounds kind of bizarre but it's okay and then x x trial how many trials are we doing five days so they're basically saying on what is the probability that you're gonna have three malfunctions on the fifth day which is definitely just an intersection of A and B. So let's just plug it in and go with go on with our day. Five minus one, that's four. R minus one, that's two. Probability is right here. Probability malfunction is 0.4 raised to the R power. And one minus P, that's 0.6 raised to the X minus R. So five minus three, that's just two. So that's six times 0.4 to the cubed times 0.6 to the second power and this is equal to 0.13824 so when we combine that numerator and denominator we finally get the conditional probability is equal to 0.13824 divided by 1 minus 0.4 to the cube so, so that's approximately equal to 0.1476 which is approximately equal to 0.148, our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!